Let me get the equation of photosynthesis for you. Now, let me get you the equation of cellular respiration. What do you observe? In photosynthesis, energy of the sun is being stored in the glucose molecule. While in respiration, the same glucose is being broken down to liberate stored chemical energy for us to do work. As you see here, the byproduct of the process that keeps us all alive is carbon dioxide or CO2. It doesn't do our body a bit of good. So, not only do we need to take in oxygen, we also need to get rid of the carbon dioxide. That's where our respiratory and circulatory systems come to play. Here, we bring in the oxygen from the air to our lungs, circulated to the rest of our cells with the help of the heart and the arteries, let the process of cellular respiration take place, collect the carbon dioxide from these cells that we don't need through veins, and finally dispose it through the lungs when we exhale. So the next question is, how does this exchange of gases take place? Well, it happens because of the process of diffusion. By the way, what is diffusion? If your mom is cooking in the kitchen and she's making something special and yummy, is the aroma of the food restricted only to the kitchen? Absolutely not, right? The entire house is bathed in the fragrance of the item being prepared. This is because when the food is being cooked, the molecules of the aroma are at a higher concentration in the kitchen than in the hall. So basically, these fragrance molecules diffuse across your house to bring about the uniformity in concentration of the aroma molecules. Diffuse or diffusion is the important word here. But what does it actually mean? Whenever there is an imbalance in any property across two places, it can be heat, concentration of molecules or even pressure, nature tries its best to equalize this imbalance. If the balance is being brought about in the concentration of these molecules, it is called diffusion. Let us observe the behavior of gases when there is an imbalance in concentration. So, as you can see, the molecules move from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration along the concentration gradient till the point that the gradient no longer exists. And this process is called diffusion. In fact, diffusion is how gas exchange happens in all organisms, including plants. Take a look at this plant. All plants undergo the process of respiration. Upon taking a closer look, we find the surface of the leaf possesses pores called stomata, which acts as an opening. At night, the plant uses oxygen and gives out carbon dioxide. The gases diffuse into the air spaces in the leaf and enter the cells inside. Inside this cell, we find mitochondria, wherein occurs the process of cellular respiration in all complex organisms, which result in the expulsion of carbon dioxide as a waste product. If you like this video and want to watch many, many more amazing videos like these, like and subscribe to our channel now.